Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we sip and spill the tea on all my favorite things. And I've got a Harney and Sons box opening. I film these and don't always upload them because a lot of times they're not long enough. So um, I did have two orders come, so I figured I would show you guys what I got because this was new on their website. First of all, I want to say, if you have never ordered from Hardy & Sons, everything comes packaged to perfection. This is a guy one. I've never seen anything like this. Um, I mean, I guess it's like paper towels, but it looks like special packing paper towels. And... And even the tens, you can see a little sneaky peek over there, came with cardboard in between them. It's just the little things, y'all, when you've had such bad experiences with other companies <coughs> that we won't mention. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open this. So I saw they had a, they've always carried a white guy wand, which is a great starter guy wand. It's only $10 and they always have free shipping. Um, so that's a great starter one. They've always had that. And then they got in a very expensive, like, Technicolor one. I couldn't afford that. It was really, really expensive. And it wasn't necessarily my taste, but it was really cool looking. Um, and so the other day I was on there and I saw that if you clicked on the white one, they had some new color options. The Celadon that I really wanted was sold out because y'all know that's my color. But they had this plum one. So I'll try not to talk too much and start opening because, you know, I do talk a lot. This one is going to be white. And it does appear to be hand painted. No transfer wear, which is awesome. You can always tell, like, there's little, like, globs of paint. And when it's transfer wear, um, you can tell the, like, sticker outline before they glaze it, so... So far, so good. And I always have confidence of shopping with Harney & Sons that everything is going to be high quality because they don't just put their name on anything. And that is how a Gaiwan should be properly packaged. Let me try to get this all out of the way for you guys. All right, guys. My phone stopped recording. I am saving up for a new camera. It's super frustrating. So... It did not get me fully opening this, but here she is. She is gorgeous, hand painted, and in comparison to some of my other guy wands that are white, she is very white. You probably can't tell under this lighting, but in real life, this one actually shows up now more beige than this one. And the feel is really nice. Like I said, a lot of my guy wands are light and thin. And she is thicker and heavier, but I'm not complaining because I have a feeling she's going to hold the heat really well. The lid fits nice down in there. Like, we don't have any sloshing around like, like, legit. She is right where I want her aperture to be. It is amazing. Look at this beautiful guy one. That's the one thing. Horny and Sons don't take a ton of pictures. They remind me of, like, T2. You get, like, one picture and you got to, like, figure it out. Um, which I don't understand because these are gorgeous. Like, it is hand-painted. The top is not wonky. Sometimes I've had one where the top is not put on right. Um, nice, deep, especially when I have my talons on. It makes it really easy. But I can tell you the lid is not slipping around. It's got good grip. I'm very, very excited for this one. We are going to be trying her out. So let me show you guys. Um, I got two orders. I got three samples in those orders. I got two hot cinnamon spice. Apparently, this is like one of their top selling teas. I personally don't do a lot of cinnamon butters. No, butters has joined us. And I did get white vanilla grapefruit, which I'm excited to try. I don't have this one from them. And if I do, I haven't tried it. So to go along with our new Gaiwan lady, I did get three new teas i got formosa oolong milky oolong and a mutton white on the side it has mike's tea ratings on there and tells you a little bit about what to expect from the tea so i'll just show you guys that this is the formosa and 
the milky oolong. So I think for the purpose of the video, um, I, when I do, since I have some oolongs, I've got another one. I want a horizontal taste. It means compare them with each other at the same time. I'm probably just going to do the white tea for now. So I'm going to get our water going in my AI cook kettle over here. Which is really easy to use. Very exciting news. I have a couple kettle reviews coming up. What are we set to? 185. Um, I have ordered this in white. It's shown up under a different company name. You know, sometimes they do the white label thing. I don't know if that's the situation here, but it looks exactly like this kettle. It arrived. I've been wanting white for my desk, obviously, because this black just kind of isn't doing it. And, yep, in my PJs. Don't judge me. So, Anyway, I got it. I'm very excited to see if it's the same quality as this AI cook because I love it. Love it, love it. And I also have another kettle that I've had for four months sitting in the closet, been meaning to review. We're getting to it this week, y'all. We're diving deep and I'm doing it for y'all. So once this comes up to temperature, we're going to start brewing in our beautiful plum guy. Don't forget to wash your guy one before I get anybody saying, eh, did you wash it? That's the voice I use to annoy Brian. I'm always like, me. And he's like, why do you talk like that? He's like, I don't even sound like that. Let's take a look at what this white tea looks like. Ooh, she full. Look at that. Oh, my. Yes, we got some fuzzy buds. Y'all see that in there? Mmm. Yum. Let's go to the website. Let's reread the description. Right, we're on the website. Sorry guys, the kettle's going in the background. I can't do much about that. And I would say it looks exactly like the picture. Let's read. It says, on Mike Harney's various trips to China, he enjoys a multitude of teas. When he makes a visit to Fujian province, he enjoys many white teas. Amen, brother. He chose to offer this very special white tea, light and sweet with vegetal flavors. The blend comes from Fuan in northern Fujian province, China, kosher. Ooh, what do the reviews say? Hold on. Mutton white is made on the same hills that make Chinese silver needle. Yes, uh, I love it. Just outside of Fuan in northern Fujian province. The tea is based upon the same Zhaobei or big white cultivar. After enough tips or buds are gathered to make Chinese silver needle, the plants are allowed to grow some more. Then, when two immature leaves have grown, the whole set is harvested, two leaves and a bud. The sets are dried in large barns when, where the slow process allows a bit of oxidation to occur. This gives mutton white some fruity and vegetal flavors. Mmm, yes. So, basically what they're saying, that was a lot of blah, blah, is... If you're not familiar, and I plan to do a video on this, silver needle is first. When these tea bushes start to bloom, they go and when they see enough buds on the top of the tea plants, they harvest that. And that's where you get Bai Hao Yenzin, which is like silver needle. And then what they do is they allow it to flush again, which means grow again. And then that's what this tea is. Mmm, it's like second yummy goodness. Right, we're back after a little lesson and everything. Aren't y'all proud of me? Look at me growing up on YouTube. This spoon also came from Harney and Sons. You're probably hearing the boys meowing in the background. They are playing with each other. This definitely works better with tongs. I do have a kitchen scale. A lot of times I try to measure, but sometimes if I'm in here, y'all, I just uh, I put what I see fit. Now, listen, white tea, come on, long nails. White tea, generally, a lot of people put a lot in there. They think, oh, you know, if you have a good white tea, you don't really need all that much. Look, you guys, and the price of this was insanely cheap. Okay, look at those soft, silvery buds. Like, this is what people pay top dollar for. Oh. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Let's do this. All right. I'm trying to make it where y'all can see here. 
Don't judge me. That's oolong ring in there. It's just going to help it along a little bit. I'm trying to do this around my tripod. Now, generally, if you have a good white tee, you don't necessarily have to um, rinse your tea leaves. You can. I typically do not, especially if it looks clean and good. I do not. Look at her steeping up. That is so beautiful. All right, let's see how she pours. I typically like to go 15 to 20 seconds. I did this at 185 degrees. That's what I'm comfortable with generally. Now some teas need a little adjusting. Does he say on the tin here? This says 175. I'm living life on the edge today. What I like to do is shake my guy wand, loosen up those leaves a little bit, smell the lid. Ooh, yes. Uh, and I like to get my nose deep in there and smell that. I definitely get like white grapes. A hint of peach, maybe. And some honey. Oh, I love white tea so much. It is my heart. Okay. I know I'm not showing myself on camera, but I'm in my PJ, so you're not really missing much. Let me taste this. Y'all, that is delicious. Okay, the, the aroma is definitely sweet like fruit. The taste is like sweet, grass, vegetal. It's really two parties going on. You're getting like this sweet fruit aroma, but the taste is a, a lighter, vegetal, um, crisp white tea this would be excellent in the summer i could see this eating some watermelon or cantaloupe even some sliced up apples this is great this would be great for a tea party especially if you've got people who aren't like you know in the tea community this is such an easy drinking tea oh mike carney you are the man brother you are the man that is delicious. All right, guys. So I'm going to enjoy my delicious white tea. If you guys have any questions, leave those below. I think I always have a coupon code in my description um, if you're a first-time order. And I think, I think you have to spend $25 to get it to work. I'm not sure. Try it out. Let me know. But you guys need to get you on these hand-painted guy wands. She is gorgeous. I cannot wait to add her into my collection. And even though she is thicker, there's no problem using it. You know, I'm having arthritis in my hands. I have no problem using it. And I actually like it. And the leaves are still quite warm. So I think it's really helping to keep keep everything warm. Oh, that smells so fruity and delicious. Look how pretty. Can we just appreciate the tea leaves that somebody went out there and handpicked and is now sitting in my gorgeous guy one. Can we really? All right, guys. I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget subscribe. I'll see you guys later.